How's it going folks? It's Lobo and welcome back to the channel. So the time on the screen is when you can jump to if you're here to catch my reaction because we're just gonna have like a short little discussion because really I'm just anxious to start the next episode. I'm super excited. And yeah, pretty much all I have to say, this might be like my shortest ever intro, but I'm just wondering how this is all gonna play out because from last episode, at least I saw it. I obviously everybody watching is on a different episode that I am, which is fine, but I'm I'm catching up. I'm getting there. We're on episode three already. But the time variance is starting to like go berserk. Let's just say the sacred timeline is starting to go crazy. All branches are forming because of what Lady Loki did and shit. And then Loki followed her through one of their TVA's portals and stuff. So I'm like, how is this all gonna play out? Like why kill TVA members and how does Loki think he's going to overthrow him? Yes, it's a very 2012 Loki thing to do. Just obsessed with power and control, but like, what, how is this all going to end? Obviously, he can't return to any timeline because then there would be two Lokis. I mean, I guess he could just like shapeshift into somebody else and live out his days as like, I don't know. Imagine if it was like that, if he was like there all along. That'd be a little weird. Like those Stanley cameos were actually Loki all along. Did I just figure something? No, no, there's no way they would do that. I also heard, speaking of which, that they're not going to do any Stanley like Easter egg cameos anymore. Obviously, he passed away, but does that mean even no more just like Easter eggs? Because we saw one in Loki, like the mural, but um, I was I was a little confused by that post I saw by Marvel, because obviously you can't just have no more references to stand the man but i don't know i don't know why we're talking about that but that, that just, just that just dawned on me while I was, I was thinking about my loki theory but whatever anyway i'm excited to get started and i hope you are too because let's just start watching isn't she one of the why do you hate this place i don't hate it i fear it do you know how many times that oh god <laughs> Lady oh, Loki just drink. took this you know member out to have something. drinks with her. <laughs> what? It's when you sip something so cold, Rain, so your memories are literally frozen in place. She has that elegant English voice that Tom Hiddleston does. It's, it's a nice casting. Okay, ask. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Sorry, what? Seriously though, you know you can tell me anything, right? Oh, it's it's mind control. So She's trying to trick her. I get it. Regarding the timekeepers. Oh, well, there's. <laughs> How do I find the elevators? Okay, this was before he went inside, and there's that beautiful, beautiful intro that I love, man. Why does she want to get to the timekeepers? Because Loki just wants to rule the TVA, apparently. But she said she doesn't. So does she want to destroy it? But wouldn't that destroy the fabric of reality if you erase the timekeepers? I don't know. Okay, so now this is uh when the episode ended. So Loki should follow in like three, two, one. I don't know. He didn't. Maybe he did it off screen. <laughs> Your magic doesn't work in the TVA. Well, those still do. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Not gonna lie, the TVA guards kinda suck, man. There he is. Took a little longer than I expected. But then again, time works definitely in the TVA. Yes, he took his daggers. <laughs> I love when he does this flip. Really got nothing else better to do. Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. Yeah, they, they don't care. <laughs> Oh, yes, he's using his magic. Oh, shit. Uh, Lamentus 1. Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Your magic won't work on him. What's he doing? <laughs> See? <laughs> You're trying to enchant me. That temp pad turned back Where on. do you have it hidden? In my heart. Well, then I'll cut it out. <laughs> nice. Great job. Lovely. Finish what I started. Good. I'll <laughs> kill you then. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like it's like a mirror. 
They're identical. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie. Oh, you changed your name. Brilliant. So she changed her name from Loki to Sylvie. I really like the set design, and I don't know why. It's like an interplanetary fallout type of vibe, or outer worlds, or whatever. Ooh, somebody's looking through the window. Anytime they do that angle, that's what that means. I told you. Sorry about that. I enjoyed it. Oh, I, <laughs> I did too. But I. He's gonna turn into her husband. You cheeky, cheeky bastard. It's beautiful in that room. Shoot him. Yep. <laughs> she can see through your bullshit. I really love this, like, the design of this atmosphere or environment or whatever. It's very interesting. I think this would be a cool design for a video game. Or perhaps it just reminds me of one I've played. Just turn into guards. How do it look? It's it. Like someone with a shit plan. It's a great plan. Mm. Are they gonna do get help? No, 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 I don't think so. That would be too generous for the fans. Oh my god, this is like Titanic. Only, only the rich get to leave. Good evening, passengers. Hi. <laughs> you fairly decent magic. My mother. That's right, his mom was raised by witches. No, she's not actually. I was adopted. Is that a bit of a spoiler for you? Sorry about that. No. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, they did. The variant Odin told her? Wait a second. So, tell, tell me about your mother and minds and project some sort of illusion. Really, it'd be easier if I just shoot. Enchanted me and make you give me the temp back so you can leave It's kind of like a, no, one of Wanda's Let's powers. Champagne. Love this is so cool. It's literally talking to yourself, even though it's like shape shifting different forms and shit. This is so cool. It's kind of like what those people say. They're like, the ideal match is yourself. So find somebody like yourself. I don't know what I'm saying. Why am I trying to be like an old wise guy telling you dating advice? That's that's terrible. Disregard everything I say. <laughs> What the hell is happening, bro? <laughs> is she is she like dreaming? Confused level uh, one thousand right now. Somebody's dreaming, or somebody's doing tricks with someone's mind. <laughs> what the hell? Another. <laughs> That's like Thor when he went to Earth. In the first Thor movie, where he's like drinking the coffee at like the bar or the diner or whatever, and there's like another. Like that. I thought an answer. I have a question about her that I'll ask after the episode. My little post discussion. My Loki's still way stronger than all these people. He's an Asgardian. He threw Tony like. 30 feet out a window, just straight power. So he's still physically way stronger. And he fought one-on-one -on -one with Cap and held his own. Even though he's not as strong as Thor, he's still way stronger than any human or base humanoid. <laughs> there we go, there's some of that strength. Man, he's like always on the ground for some reason with that pose where he flips his hair back. Like in Thor Ragnarok, when Doctor Strange did his thing. Well, I had to take quite the tumble. You asshole! You killed but us. Maybe we can fix it. Okay. Um, it's purpose. Give me a break. You can't beat them. Why is she obsessed with them? She's just murdering them for no reason. They protect everyone. I jack the Ark and make sure it gets off this moon. But then you mess with history i mean she already messed up the timeline enough so i doubt either of them care in order to preserve the connection i have to create a fantasy from their memories oh like she did with that agent earlier at the restaurant 
memory from hundreds of years prior, before she even fought for them. What? What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah. Before? She was just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Told that everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. Oh, shit. Oh, that kind of makes sense. But... Then who's controlling the TVA? Is it still the timekeepers? But they do live for, like, ever until they die? Of non-age? That's it. That's very interesting. So Loki could just be an agent and live forever. In the end, control beautifully. Man, this set is like very Guardians of the Galaxy. Galaxy E. <laughs> it's it's kind of trippy saying it like that. I love all the the neon and LED lights and shit. It is very like cyberpunk esque. How the hell did he do that? That was cool. They both did the same. They have like the same move system. <laughs> uh, so much for the art. What? <laughs> it's over? Well, we're gonna have a shorter discussion here as well because I'm honestly, I'm just gonna like flip and start watching the next one. So yeah, uh, but anyway, what a weird episode. There was a lot like going on. I mean, not really. They were on one planet or moon or whatnot with another planet or moon that's gonna crash into it. It takes place in 20, 2077 but it, it has so much cyberpunk 2077 vibes i know it's a little on the nose but still come on it, it really did look like it it did it looked like a mix of cyberpunk and guardians of the galaxy like theme set in 2077 ironically but it was interesting to see sylvie and loki go at it because they're just they're each other they're themselves it's like weird. It's like not a clone. Well, technically a clone is still the same person, but two different individuals. I'm not getting into the uh, the details of it, but it's him talking to himself and her talking to herself and shit. It's like, it's weird. It's going back and forth with another version of yourself, but it, it's still yourself. So they had like so, sort of like the same kind of speech, like like elegant kind of speech. You know what I mean? Because Loki does kind of have a way with words and such. And even their move system, they did, I'm pretty sure they did the spin in unison together. Because they have like the same move set and shit. But their magic very varies. He doesn't know how to do the enchanting thing while she does. And then he can do his little tricks and shit. I haven't seen her change into anyone yet. Obviously he's done it a lot. But I still haven't seen her do it. I, what I mentioned earlier, I just have a question. I don't know if anyone is still watching or if anyone can even answer it. But what I'm wondering about is how much of her past does she know? Because she says her parents told her that which she was adopted. Is she referring to Frigga and, uh, and Odin? Like she still was like Loki from Asgard, right? Or Jotunheim adopted to asgard like that still works in her universe slash timeline i'm still confused how this whole thing works she's not from like the multiverse but she's from a different timeline but if they're all derived from the sacred timeline then how does the origin of her finding out about her parents differ than actual loki's that's uh, that's what i'm like confused about or maybe I'm like oversimplifying it and such. Probably, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm confused about that. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see, or at least I'll have to see. But yeah, so shit. I'm exactly halfway through the series, dude. It's it's too damn short, bro. That's my one issue with all these damn Disney Plus shows. They're so short. I know 
on regular TV, it's way lower quality, so they just kind of shit out a ton of episodes, like 10 to 24 or whatever in a single season. But these have six. This has six. Falcon and the Winter Soldier had six. WandaVision had nine, which was better. But I still want more, man. At least, like, maybe 13 to 15 would be good, but uh, nah. Oh, that sucks. I can't believe I went three more episodes. That flew by, and this was a very short episode. Yeah, but it was just them kind of going back and forth. Obviously, she wants to destroy the TVA, and he wants to rule it, but now it's revealed that they're taking variants and making them work for their for the TVA. Like, the, the timekeepers didn't create every agent. They were taken from their thing. Is that why Mobius is obsessed with jet skis? Maybe that's why. Oh, but now I'm just wondering. Well, I kind of said, I'm like, how is this going to end? Is Loki just going to be a permanent agent working for the TVA? Like, that could happen. I mean, there's. I don't have a problem with that. I know it sounds bad. Like, sure, they're... Well, they're not really, I guess they're mind controlled into the TVA, but they're variants. They're not supposed to exist. So it's either they die or they can live outside of the universe, outside of time in a cool ass place where you don't age. And the only way you can die is if you get killed by your own technology and be a fool of yourself. Like that sounds like a pretty good deal. I don't know about you, but yeah. So I'm interested to see if that is explained more and it's more complicated than I realized, but I really think it's not that bad at all like really you get to live forever unless you again get killed by your own technology i mean then again you have to abandon the life you knew and potentially forget it but hey you won't even have those memories in the first place so there can be no regret no feeling lost because again those memories aren't even there so yeah i don't know sounds like a pretty good deal to me but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this one again i'm just going to jump into the next episode i'm very excited for that yeah, so that means I'll have to wait because I'm going to have to upload this tomorrow and then the next day I'll have to do episode four. And then only two more, episode five and six, the series finale. So I'm almost caught up with everyone, Jesus. But anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. And until then, I'll catch you folks in the next episode.